Hello my soccer universe to another collection video and this time we're looking at this beautiful Spain jersey from 2008 the one that they finally won a tournament again no it's not the first ever title in 64 they won already a Euro title but 2008 the long promise of the Spanish national team of hitting someone finally came true and I'm in a way proud to say that I was a little bit part of that following it yes it was not only played in my home country but i even saw a game of the spanish national team playing against italy in exactly this this jersey match which is also rather special it was not a great game but that's beside the point but uh, if you're a long time viewer of this channel or if you know my collection playlist you said didn't you talk already about this shirt not really because the shirt that i previously owned uh was one that had a Taurus number and name on there and unfortunately it turned out to be a fake and I still have the video up there and you can watch it if you like. I thought at a while that it was not but once you look a little bit closer it was pretty clear it was a fake because it was always way too small for an XL to me and so on and so forth and once I you know cleaned up my act if you would like to say well you know i realized okay i have quite a few fakes in there let's get rid of them and let's try to get uh, the original ones and honestly i did not expect to replace immediately uh because you know i didn't want to spend a lot, lot of money and yes ideally i would have liked to get another torres or uh, another name set on it um but this one popped up really quickly and it cost me all of eight euros and I said, that's pretty much a no-brainer. I had the guy send the um, tags for confirmation. It all checked out. And I'm very pleased that I have this one. And I cannot tell you the feeling I got is when I got this shirt. It really looked all right to me. And then when I pulled it on, it felt right. It felt that this is the proper fit. And I cannot tell you what a great feeling that was. So looking at this shirt, uh, it is in a way a little bit of an unusual Spain uh, shirt uh, because you know it's uh, yes you have the uh, Spanish flag colors, but uh, there's almost no navy on it, which had become a staple in Spanish shirts. Although having said that, I think the 2006 one also had only the uh, red with some yellow pinstriping and no navy either. This was actually a time where um, Spain started this really interesting pattern of having the World Cup play in the classic kit, meaning uh, red combined with uh, this, the royal blue shorts and black socks with uh, Spain cuff and then for the euros they played with navy shorts and navy socks. It's I think a cycle they broke in 2000. Um, 14 when they wore the all red kit and you know where this got them and there are a few other kit choices that uh, will make it very interesting um, the template itself is not like the you know it it was not outstanding but i have have i can say now lo looking at it now it actually looks like you have to get the piping uh and then as i said the golden um um three stripes coming over the sleeves and yes this is more golden or mustardy color uh which became really a uh, weird when they reversed this jersey more or less for the away jer uh, jersey where it was all mustard but then with navy it's a jersey that i actually would like to have because i i think it it uh makes it for an interesting look but the outstanding feature of this one next to the golden numbers which unfortunately i do not have now uh, as you can see this is a blank here was that the spanish coat of arms was put here in a shield and to be honest at the, at the beginning i was not sure about that I mean, first off, I had the away jersey from 2006 where the, where the coat of arms was all by itself, so I didn't necessarily think it needed the additional adornment uh, because it's already so um, uh, elaborate but beautiful in many ways. I mean, if you look at this, there's a whole lot going on and it is very, very detailed, very rich, absolutely gorgeous. This is all nicely stitched. And on the fake, this was all a little, little bit squished together. So all the detail was actually getting lost a little bit. But I was not sure why do we need the shield. I have to say, 
it grew a lot lower to me and the latest when they at the 2010 world world cup i was all fine with it i actually think it adds to it a little bit so you have the crown and now that spain has a star it even makes sense i even like the rfef and then you have the old style soccer ball this is if you are an old nation, foot football nation like Spain, this is the type of soccer ball that you should use, in my opinion, not the one from 1970. You can do this if you're a young country. That's why I don't mind it on Ghana that much, but I mind it here. And then you have a little bit of Spanish flag here. But this to me is the outstanding feature of this entire jer uh, jersey. As I said, initially I didn't like it all that much. It made the shirt maybe a little bit too heavy on this side. Maybe this is the one thing that I can, can still say. Uh, it puts a lot of weight here uh, and the number only uh, balances out very sparingly. Um, the shirt is interesting because it has, you know, a lot of ventilation uh, going right here. Even then the panels that is on the Germany shirt, who were the final partners, um, was differently colored. But here it's all unicolor, which actually makes this a nice crew neck color. And on the back, uh, similarly, maybe that the piping is going around like here. That's maybe the one thing that is a bit odd. Uh, there's also an interesting pattern here on the side, uh, which doesn't do much. But it is interesting to have it add a little bit personally to the, the thing. Um, I have to say that while I probably prefer the Adidas logo here, given that the number was of similar size, it's actually appropriately placed, which means this screams out to have a name set applied to it. Fortunately, you will not get an original name set uh, for 2008 and anymore, so it would have to be a reproduction, but uh, it's something I am potentially considering. Now, the shirt itself was in really good condition. There are no blemishes or whatever. The only blemish is that the tag on the inside is kind of washed out and the um, I think the climber cool sticker came off as well so that's not there any, any, anymore but as I said I checked all the tags and they all check out quite nicely so and as I said the shirt just feels right so as I said this shirt is most famous for being worn during the Euros uh, in 2008 where Spain is the uh, only t is the only team that made it? I think at least to the qualifiers that played all their games in Austria, which makes it even extra special for me that they won the tournament there. They played, of course, the opening two games in Innsbruck, uh, wearing this one uh, in a defeat of Russia, and they were also wearing a defeat of Sweden, a last-minute defeat, two-one. I also have the Sweden jersey that they played that again. I think the Russia jer uh, jersey. I, um, I have the red one. But that they played in the semi-final, we'll come to, come to that. In the quarterfinals, they beat Italy on penalties. As I said, it was not a good game, but they won on penalties. They were probably the bad, better team. Uh, although, as you know, I was for Italy there. Uh, then in the semis, I could have gotten tickets for them. I just couldn't afford it at the moment, unfortunately. Um, they beat Russia again 3-0, but this time wearing the away jersey against the Russia in the red one. And then uh, in the final, they beat Spain through the Torres goal, 1-0 again, wearing this jersey. So this is the jersey that won the Euros and then it was worn in qualifying successful qualification campaign for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Uh, so uh, that's the big history behind this shirt. I actually think uh, for the success that this uh, team around Luis Aragon is, and this is really Xavi, Iniesta, um, uh, Torres, Villa, more or less all in their prime, it has to say. I, I think this, this is for me, of all the Spanish teams that have won titles, this is the best iteration. This team was devastating and devastatingly beautiful. Um, and Luis Aragones had them actually played an attacking style. And there were also you know, some other interesting players like Senna in there, uh, Guisa, uh, who did not uh, play then lay later on for the team. So uh, that makes that shirt in a, in a way quite special as well. I will always hold the 2008 Spain team in a little bit of a higher regard than the other iterations of the Spanish national team so uh makes it special as well in any case please let, let me know what you think about this classic i actually cannot believe that this is a shirt that is a little bit undervalued uh you can still find it used for a relatively decent price 
when I think it holds a lot of historical significance to me. So for me, I put way higher value on this shirt than probably most other people would do. Any case, let me know your thoughts on this one. Give me a thumbs if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.